Jennifer Robbins, she's out this morning on the North Shore where the Coast Guard and the Fire Department, they are still searching for a missing surfer. That's right, so uh, let's check in with her right now. Jen, what's the latest? Good morning, everyone. Well, search crews are going to start again right at daylight. Right now, it's just too dark out there. And you know what? A surfer's dream of 20 foot waves became quickly a surfer's nightmare yesterday as treacherous waves took over. And we had per Kirk Passmore, a 32 year old experienced surfer that's from the North Shore, known as Alligator Gate. He went off at this point, very rough condition. He was charging a 20 foot wave, and then he had a really bad wipeout. If you've ever been off on the North Shore, you know there's a lot of obstacles in the water that you could hit your head on. So if you have a bad wipeout, it's not good. In fact, he went out again and then another wave plumbled him. So right now we have search crews waiting for daylight and we're on the way of waiting to regain this search yet again. And Chief Tejada, good morning. What is the latest update? You're telling me about some of the buoys you guys sent out. Yeah, our partners at the U.S. Coast Guard, they dropped a buoy yesterday. That one was found last night at about 8 o'clock the, near the Chun's Reef area. They also dropped a few last night in the channel between Chun's Reef uh, and Leftovers. And that one actually went the other way. It's out near the Shark's Cove area right now. So what does that tell your search crews right now? Well, we were planning to cover this area extensively uh, on our first search, but on our first uh, aerial search this morning, but we're going to go all the way towards Waimea Bay anyway and out towards Sharks Cove now that we know that the current is running out that way. And you said that this is a pretty dangerous spot. I mean, a lot of surfers here, well-known ones, have died at this spot. So what are the conditions right now? Uh, you know what, the surface expected to be 20 to 25 feet, and again, it, it's not good conditions for rescuers. We can't put anybody in the water unless we actually see something. So it's really kind of frustrating to everybody that we can't get in there and do a little bit more. So we'll be searching along the shore. We'll be working in conjunction with our partners from Ocean Safety and with the Coast Guard as well. Well, thank you so much, Chief, and thank you so much for all you do. Well, you can see that they're going to continue search efforts at daylight. Last night, the Coast Guard took over with night vision goggles, and we'll get the latest information as it comes to us right here on the North Shore. Jennifer Robbins, Hawaii News Now. Back to you guys in the studio. And Jen, you were there yesterday, and I know it's dark, but just hearing it, does it sound as big as it was yesterday morning? It doesn't look like it's as big as it was, but looking out, you could still see it's pretty sloppy and choppy. Yesterday, when we were driving by, we actually drove by this very spot and saw a lot of surfers come out. And you could see, if you've ever been to a place like Shark's Cove, it's very rocky. That's the same kind of conditions just offshore here. So like I said, a lot of obstacles if you fall off your board in very dangerous conditions. That's right, and anyone who knows that area knows how dangerous it is. Thanks a lot, Jen. 616 right now, let's check. Okay, so Jen, what's the latest? Good morning, everyone. Well, the search crew is in full swing right now, back out there with um, their helicopters, and also they're going to see ground search crews as well. And it's quite the effort. Conditions yesterday were a little bit rougher, not favoring for the search conditions, but today it is a little better. This morning we have with us Commander Wheeler from the U.S. Coast Guard. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. I know this is quite the effort. You dropped a couple of buoys. Talk about what you're doing today. Yes, thank you. Uh, yesterday, we were notified that uh, we had a missing surfer here on the North Shore. We partnered with the Honolulu Fire Department and Ocean Safety uh, to coordinate our search efforts. Uh, since yesterday afternoon, we've completed 14 searches. Uh, yesterday, you mentioned a buoy. We, we dropped a, a, a drift buoy here off the shore. Uh, and we were using that to help uh, model where we think uh, the missing surfer might be today. So Kirk Passmore came off here just off of Alligator Rock, and you thought maybe you would drift towards Kayana Point, but the buoys said otherwise? Yes, that's correct. We had originally uh, planned to search today more to the west towards Haleiwa and Kayana. However, uh, what the buoy modeling told us is that actually the currents outside the surf break are heading to the north and east more towards Waimea. And how about the conditions today? Are they favoring for search efforts for you? Uh, yes, the forecast has uh, somewhat diminished in sea height and wind speed, so that's going to be uh, more favorable for our helicopter and boat crews to conduct searches. 
And you guys can see right now, if you look off in the distance, it's a little bit cleaner than it was yesterday, not as big, and things are calming down quite a bit. And joining us this morning here at the search efforts, we did see um, Kurt's family, his dad, Dave, and they just said that they're hopeful and they're very thankful to the Coast Guard and the city and county of Honolulu, thanking lifeguards, fire department, who are continuing with this search. But Kirk Passmore, he was an experienced surfer, his dad says. I got to talk to his dad, Dave, who doesn't want to go on camera, and we just wanted to give him his space, give him that respect right now. But he said he's an experienced surfer, just moved here about three years ago from San Diego, loved the surf, and so he is confident in the Coast Guard and all of their efforts. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, just a warning for everybody else to stay safe out there. Thanks, Jen.